management just a few minutes mm -hmm. ago to find out because we heard uh, the tornado warning and they told me that uh, as of right now there had been no confirmed tornado on the ground they had no reports of damage or no reports of injury at this point in time but that they did know that that severe storm was about four miles northwest of mountain fork that's what they were telling me so they were monitoring that situation pretty heavily as well mm -hmm. all right we're getting close to spooky season as they call it right yeah everybody loves a little bit of spooky season halloween is six weeks away candy already hitting the shelves at grocery stores nationwide but the kids you need to watch the candy they bring home for Halloween night. Here's why. That's because a new poll reveals that most parents admit to eating about a third of their kids' candy. You ain't even lying. About 68% of parents surveyed said they admit to hiding the candy and hoping their kid would forget about it. We all do that. 68% said they do it, but 99% actually do it. We all do it. You know why we do it? For the betterment of the kids. Mm. We care about the kids. We're looking out for the kids. All right, let's take a look at the latest COVID-19 numbers over the last 24 hours. Going to show you the trend and how things are going. We did add 266 new cases to the overall case count. We've passed the 516,000 mark at this point in time. Active cases, the number we've continued to watch, continuing their decline. They dropped by 52, so we have 4,580 people total battling the virus right now in the state. It's interesting, interesting that you said that word because another question we've gotten from a lot of our viewers is whether or not you'll be calling the hogs during the concert <laughs> grew up with it man i grew up right next door right so it's like go hogs and i think there's going to be enough uh Hong calling out there uh, to, to satisfy all of us. Yeah, so if you continue to look at the map, though, you can see way up here, this is Rogers and Bentonville. They're both in the yellow. That means they have 20 or less of those active cases. And, and then you've got Lincoln, Greenland, and West Fork all over here in the green. So what you're starting to see is that trend. As you see, we're way different than the other side of the state, where it's still very, very red. That why, as a parent, you're probably wondering why are these changes happening? That's why. What? I did, oh, I did what with the butter? So you, puttered you, the butter. spo yeah, you puttered the butter. <laughs> puttered the butter. Yeah. Puttered the butter, then you splattered the batter. Yeah, splattered the batter. Yep. Somebody give me a beat. Man, you got a beat for me? And then we got the beat box yeah, right here. Wait till the bubbles are popping. Because the bubbles are popping. This is a really weird one. But as one California family found out, there are some things you just can't unsee. Check it out. This man in California was caught on camera licking a family's doorbell. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Billy Brown the yard for like three hours. Cameras also reportedly caught the man relieving himself. That doesn't surprise me at all in the front yard before he moved on to someone else's house. All right, although very shocking and disturbing. <laughs> what are you doing right now? <laughs> the homeowners say at the end of the day, no real harm was done. The footage did help authorities, though, identify the suspect. They say he could be facing a number of charges. <laughs> the family says they've since cleaned their, their door box. <laughs> I would imagine so. <laughs> what do you do when that dude shows up with his tongue hanging? What, like, what do you do? <laughs> He, he, he sat there and licked on the door for, for a long time. Yeah, like, well, not that a short time is okay, but... <laughs> yeah, no amount of time. You're right. No amount of time is appropriate. Just, Turning now to the tragedy at World in Houston as eight people died in some sort of crowd surge there. Yeah, you may have seen some of this video. Take a look at this video. This is all from people who were actually at the event. You've probably seen some of that circulating on social media already. This morning, we're actually hearing from a father and a son from Fort Smith who were actually there, Laura. Five News reporter Micah Wilson spoke with them about their terrifying experience. Don't hit the drinks too hard. People in the survey also say they tend to limit happy hour drinks with coworkers to two and tend to order beer and wine over hard liquor. Mm. So don't get too excited, Joe. Yeah, it's, it's just one, yeah, one of those things, <laughs> it's, it's shot, one of those shot, things shot, that's kind of like, yeah. yeah. I tend to shy away from stuff like that. Yeah. Basically, what that study says is for me to like you two, we got to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's saying one or two drinks. It's saying we <laughs> got to take crazy. shots it's so I can get along with y'all in the mornings, is what it's basically telling me. <laughs> it's a little early for shots or Yeah. I'm just going by the study. Don't judge me. I didn't come up with the study. <laughs> I think you just pick and choose what <laughs> yeah, studies you, you like to. You don't to take shots with your coworkers well, at five in the morning. I, I have a, what do they call selective hearing. <laughs> Some people need to drink to to deal with co-workers, right? Are you, are you, you got something to say? No, no. <laughs> Just making an observation. <laughs> a throwback to his sports days with the Supra. Some, mm. some nice cars, Joe. 
Yeah, the big Lord, Ram. I saw the big, big Ram, Ram a yeah. second ago. I think it's huge. I've been I'm thinking about getting a new car anyway, and so I might just have to go over there and see if they'll let me test drive a couple. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you do get to test drive those indoors. I went to the Chicago Auto Show one year, and they had a whole little test track you could actually drive a pickup truck on. Awesome. They didn't check your driving record before they let you <laughs> test drive? I have a perfect <laughs> driving record. Your car says otherwise. <laughs> People have hit me. The bandages on your car <laughs> says other than perfect. <laughs> People have hit me. Not that's, my fault. That's what I always say, too. It's not my fault. <laughs> Look fine. It uh, looks like whatever, you know, precipitation. That's a technical word I stole from Joe. <laughs> Woo! That's fallen. May have uh, cleared up by now. Feel like a scientist yeah, this man, morning? I, my brain just got bigger. The biggest <laughs> word I've ever heard you use. Precipitation. <laughs> precipitation. <laughs> go right there. <laughs> fancy this morning. I, I, I'm fancy, Joe. I, I drink my tea with my pinky up. I don't know if you know that. That's not fancy. To each That's their huge. Own. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Let's lift it all the way up. Lift it all the way. This, yeah. thing, this, thing, is, this thing is legit six foot tall. Yeah. So there's that. Um, another popular gift idea, instead of flowers, you might want to go <laughs> the candy route. So these are candy bouquets. They're the new roses is what people at Walmart are telling us. And there are tons of these to choose from. You can buy them for under $19. Perfect for anyone with a sweet tooth. And we also have these, stop it, <laughs> these beauty boxes. We have a time limit on this thing. So I'm trying to get through this right now. This one is called the main. I'm glad I got the yard mode when I did because uh, it was going to get bad out there. Yeah, a little soggy. Just the front, though. You can't fool everyone. Yeah, it's a lawn mullet. That's what I call it. The front lawn is business mullet. in the front and if, buck uh, wild in the back. Don't watch that mullet on the back end there. <laughs> it might get a little extra wild here over the next couple of weeks. Hey, well, it's just a true jungle gym for the kids, all right? Well, we don't even go in the backyard right now. It's a little... <laughs> it's past jungle at this point. It's nature back there. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody might think I'm growing something special back there. There's a lot of stuff back there. Oh, a couple of helicopters flying over there. I promise it's just regular grass. <laughs> Hopefully you're waking up in a great mood, ready for an absolutely great Friday. I know Laura's excited because she's going to get to drink here in a little bit. I don't know why I got the drinking segment, but oh, I did. you know why you got the drinking segment. You know, I've never had bourbon in my life, but I believe in the drink that we're making, I think it has bourbon in it unless they're doing some sort of twist we'll on put it. some hair on your chest, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Hopefully not, but I'm Laura Simon. It is great to have you with us. Oh, my goodness. The things that you say. She said hopefully not. <laughs> It's a big old bowl of candy. You don't want your kid eating all that candy. So you tuck it away on the top of the fridge or back in the shelf somewhere where they can't see it. And then you go in and get what you want, the Skittles, the Snickers, the Starburst that you don't think that they need. And you keep them for yourself. We all do it. Every parent out there pretty much has done it unless you don't eat candy. You take a third? How much on you, average, a third How of much do you think a kid needs? Huh? The pile is this big? You think the kid needs half but of that? You're grabbing a third of the, the best candy you're right. that's in that you're bag. Dang so right. what you're leaving <laughs> is the is junk, all the nasty the stuff, garbage. all the Tootsie Rolls and stuff that's like right. that, that. No one's going to eat anyway. All the peeps so. and all the other <laughs> junk that nobody else really wants. You leave that in the bowl because it, it discourages them from eating too much candy. Really, it's about the kids.